garden day. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm still really tired. But I'm not hot because after, I don't know, probably two weeks of boiling hot or pouring bucket rain, it's cool. It was only 68 this morning when we came out to the garden. I was so thrilled about that. Anyway, so I told the kids on the way to the garden, we're not going to pull weeds. I shouldn't say that because we did pull weeds. Although I'm the one that pulled the weeds, I didn't have them pull the weeds because I said that I wasn't going to do it. But I did pull weeds in a couple spots only because that's where we were planting. So I have an excuse for that, sort of. And excuse the wind. Apparently I have a great ability to control it because it wasn't windy. That's how I went to film. <laughs> so today my son pounded some steaks in the tomatoes until he smashed his fingers. I want to go. So that's done. One of my other boys planted some more melons and cucumbers and squash by the uprights in the holes. I had different things that didn't come up so I, it's basically we're filling in the whole town of things that didn't come up or didn't grow or like I pulled out some arugula and lettuce today because it's done so I'm going to be planting other things in there just to I didn't have enough energy or time to put it back in. So that'll be tomorrow, or the next day we come out. And then, what else did I do? I planted some beans. This is my third attempt to plant bush beans. I don't know when you're supposed to give up, but <laughs> I'm pretty close. That's ridiculous. So anyway, we're trying that one more time. And then I'll sh I picked some squash and some beets. I have a row of beets that are done. And then uh, planted celery in that row. I'll show you that. And then I pulled a couple of radishes while weeding. That's how it happened. And I pulled some pea plants up while I was trying to weed. That was really bad. And I also noticed some of my onions are ready. Are, they're big enough to use now. I'm not pulling them yet because they're not drying down. Like when they're done, they usually just dry down. So I'm assuming those are really close to being done. And I set some traps for the squash bugs. It's something I'm going to try. I read somewhere or somebody told me to use yellow cups or yellow bowls, yellow plates with water and dish soap. So I'm going to try that because I already have like a pavilion cucumber, cucumber burritos or squash bugs I think. I don't know. They're bugs and they eat holes and everything. So we're going to try that. So anyway, on with the garden tour. Alright, I can, I weeded a little bit, I don't know if you can really tell. Maybe if I look at the video, so I don't know. But I did weed some on here because my son planted. You can see my artichoke is getting really big. I only weeded two of them. upright things are left uh, I have to, I'll plant in to fill it in. I'm just waiting for this to get established. We have peppers and Brussels sprouts. I think I have a basil in there somewhere too. There we go. Some more sweet potatoes and let's see size of squash. These are the tomatoes. This is where my son attempted to put the um, posts in so I can tie up the tomatoes. I told him, pick the biggest ones and do them first. So that's what he did. Unfortunately, they, he didn't get to finish. He smashed his finger. Poor fella. I appreciate all of his hard work. I could never do all of this by myself. My boys this year have been amazing at helping. So I'm so, so thankful. All right. 
this is the spot that still hasn't gotten planted. And that's actually going to be, I have stuff to put in here. I just didn't, I have to get another piece of plastic to be able to put down here because I'm putting tomatoes. I have them, I just didn't bring them up. Some peas and some weeds, obviously, and some sunflowers. Let's see. This has, I believe we planted some, what was it now? It was a green in here, and that, I believe it's cilantro that you're seeing. Then we have basil and some spinach, and then we have dill. It smells so good when you touch it. Arugula and some radishes and carrots. And we have some radishes and some Swiss chard and some, that right there is actually a Oh boy, kohlrabi. That's what these are at the end. I'm not sure how this is going to be. a couple of those. We got some more beets and some more kohlrabis and some more lettuce down here. And then over here we have fennel. We mulched it so it looks a little better. Again, there's some holes we'll have to fill in. And this is some more squash that we're going to have to mulch. I'll put the traps up in. Traps up here. Over there is my pumpkins. I planted some flowers in it. I see them there. And my one artichoke is here. I think I'm probably going to move it by the other artichokes and then plant something else here. It, artichokes get so big, supposedly. I've never grown them, so I don't know. So I'm thinking I'm going to move them just because it's all by itself. I think it'd be happier if it was with something else. Alright. This is the strawberry patch. My mom keeps pulling weeds out of there. I've pulled some, but I think she's probably done more than all of us have. And it looks pretty good. I just keep mulching the outside to keep that down. The raspberries. Still haven't gotten anything, but this is the only one I'm expecting anything from because the other ones I mostly moved this year over here. So those are the beans that I still need to get up. Peas. I didn't pick any of those, they're just not ready yet. Let's see. This is, I believe, beets and radishes and carrots and spinach. Yeah, there's some spinach right there. This is where I planted the beans. I have some beans, but just didn't do very well. And I keep planting them in here, and I'm thinking I should probably just give up eventually. Some more peas. I weeded a bunch of this, so the lettuce here, and I believe that's beets. And there's some more lettuce on there to get it all. Need to it wasn't weeding day, I just weeded. <laughs> but next time it's weeding day, hopefully. This is some more peas, and then at the end down there, I'll be filling it in because it's starting to get empty. And these are my squash, and then I have um, Tom Tio's. Let's see. I picked a bunch of squash already. And I, those are the traps I was talking about. It's a yellow cup with dish soap in it. No idea if it'll work or not, but it's worth a try. Even if it just cuts down half the bugs, <laughs> that'd be okay. But there's quite a few squash. I'll go over there and show you. This is the onions and gladiolas. I was going to be eating. And some onions and this is Brussels sprouts. This is kale. And this is cabbage and onions. And this is broccoli and onions are my favorite flower. But I was going to show you. Look at this. The onions are like really coming along. I'm really surprised. They just look really good. If I needed some, I could take some onion tops. They don't need any at the moment. If I have some lettuce, this is what a good portion of what I needed today. There's beets. Beets, no. White stuff. Brown balls. I can't think of the word. Um, but this one is radishes, colorado. And then over here is 
Swiss chard and my favorite kind of lettuce. That is the row that I picked the beets out and then I planted, I sun planted celery in there. And this is turnips. That's the one I can think of. Round balls, white round balls. That's turnips. I should probably look. Oh, they're doing. Still not much there. They're coming though. You can see those little purple tops. Here's one. I could actually pick this one. There. See? One turnip. Ha! Nice. And then over here, I tucked in my um, mulch, the uh, okra. I have one that's kind of big, so you can kind of see what it looks like when it's smaller. But that is my okra plant. That's the bigger one. So it's kind of cool. And then these are the tomatoes. They actually have tomatoes on, they're just not right. So they're coming. This is my corn. Oh, it's tasseling even, look at that. So it's coming along. And I don't know if you can really tell how tall it is compared to everything else, but there, you can kind of see how tall it is compared to the tomatoes. It's pretty big and the corn had fallen down, but it looks like it's picked itself back up. So I didn't touch it, I just left it alone. Cause I'm thinking, when I did it last time, it didn't help. It's like, it's gonna lay on the ground, it's gonna lay on the ground, and I'm not gonna play with it. So, anyway. These are the radishes and beets and the one lone turnip that I actually picked today. So, I picked them accidentally while I was weeding, so that's okay, I needed some anyway. You have to see this. Look at all the berries. They're everywhere. It's just like a small patch next to my dad's shed. I can't wait to pick them. They're so yummy. And there's like a lot of them. Thank you for taking along and coming and watching my garden tour. I was expecting to be able to pick a few more things today, but it's just not, it's just not quite there yet. But I'm happy that we're getting the weeding and the mulching done and finishing planting the last few things up. So I'm excited about that. I'm ha I don't have any beans yet, which I was kind of expecting, and I don't really have a whole lot of greens that I can pick today, but that's okay. Still a few from the last time I picked. And the tomatoes, they're, ta they're taking their sweet time, but I'll be ready for them when they get here. So anyway, I'll talk to you next time. Bye!